Make sure you always have a bit of space, nice clear of a bit of room. Let's do the usual warm up knees up the front, up the arms as well. Now get the legs really warm as we're going to be doing a lot of kicking. Three legs back. Who's that? <laughs> Hello, Steve Yardley. Who's that? Twist. Knees up. Twist back. Twist. Twist back. Twist. Knees up. Twist. Knees up. Okay, arms push you forward. Knees in front. Ten. Shoulder, you do 10 on one side, 10 on the other yeah, side. Okay. Then we're going to do alternates. So, right leg first, going up to your shoulder. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One leg in the other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's do a bit of mobility stuff then. Pick your knee up to the front, roll it out, and down. Switch legs, one side on the other. Here we go. Go as wide as you can. Get full circles. If you need to do this, hold on to something, go for it. Yeah, the other way, so you're out to the side and roll to the front. I'll just get the inside of the groin. Big step over. Okay, back in toes. Okay, before we start extending something, okay, we're going to do some leg exercises. So, 10 squats, 10 jump squats, 10 burpees. 10 top jumps. If there's any of those exercises you can't do, okay, change it to something you can do. If you find jumping difficult, just do, rather than jumping squats, just do normal squats. Okay, so you want a good range of motion on the hips, knees in line with toes, back up straight. Ready? 10 squats, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take them off the heads. Jump squats, go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Both beats. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two times to finish off. Let's go. Knees up. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And shake it off. You can tell the top jumps were made by people who didn't have hair. Okay, over to you, some light stretching. Okay, so um, at this stage of the game, no points. Hello, Millie. Oh, hello, Millie. Andrew Manners. Oh, Kobe's there. Andrew, be careful with your back. There's a good boy. Yeah. So, this stage of the game, no points pushing for flexibility because. You're not really warm enough to not hurt yourself. So, we're going to start. Hello, Becky. Welcome to join us as well. Feet apart. Right. You should be. Bend your knees, put your elbows on the inside of your knees, and push out. If you want a little extra stretch, turn the toes out. And I'm just, I'm rocking very gently. I'm not bouncing my way into any stretches. I'm going to start working my way downwards. A little bit up. The, those guys have already and been on up. here. Anytime you get a little break, if you can share this video, that'd be fantastic. Okay, okay. share out, get everyone know this is happening. Hands on one side. Try in this stretch to keep your heels flat. Okay, don't come up on the ball of your foot. Have yourself over. Sit that heel into the floor. And open this knee out. Change sides. I know. 
Try to ease it into it. So I'm going to bring your feet in a little bit closer together. Turn your toes out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to squat into it. Praying hands. And I'm going to use it to push myself out. I'm going to get my butt as close to my heels as I can. If you want to do a little rock, you can do a little rock. Okay, hands on the floor, push yourself up. Okay, one leg out, toes up. Hello, Bettina. Hands on your supporting leg. Okay, don't lean on your front knee. Hello, Amanda. Uh, today, uh. Don't tell me, I don't want to know. <laughs> Is that Amanda? Please don't tell us, Amanda. If it involves poo, we sick, I don't want to know. Okay, turn the toes flat, push down, and toes up again. Change legs, toes up. This is just a little one for the hamstrings. Toes down, and toes up again. Okay, now, you can hold a wall for this, you can hold a partner, but just uh, one last little stretch before we make a start on the pivoting exercises. But pull it into your butt. Try and pull your knees together, push your hips forwards. It's not COVID. Change legs. And just one more before we move on. Just mobilise our lower back a little bit. Okay, just a few twists from the waist. Have your lower back close to you, anyway. Careful, Andy. Keep telling you. Just bear in mind, Andy, if it, if it ends in tears normally, it's pretty bad. If it ends in tears now, <laughs> it'll be a lot of them. Okay. Right, just give yourself a little shake off. Right, now we're into Mr. Banks for the first pivoting exercise. Yep. Now, this, this is important because this is where knees need to be to survive. Okay, All right, so just so we're not growing in one foot constantly there, we go forward and if you've got limited space, you're going to bring your knee up, turn your foot, land down, and skip back. Okay, if you have more space, you can keep going forwards with it each single every time. Now, we do it sideways here, the foot on the floor is. The important bit. Okay, this helps your hips open up to get the kick. Okay, so the further my foot stays forwards with the kick, the slower my round is going to be. The further I get round and drive the knee up, so it's automatically higher. So if I'm trying to get that extension, the further I get it round, the further the hip will be to higher. There. Okay. So if I turn it towards you, 90 degree turn, and let go to the air so that we extend. If I get my foot to go all the way around, so you see it's significantly higher. Okay, so we're not worrying about the kick yet, we're worried about getting the knee up. Again, common thing I see is this. So the leg comes across the side. Now all it does is lock there, look, it doesn't go any higher, I can't even pull it up. So I get my knee to go up, but how high my knee can go. Body up straight, okay. From there, as I'm gonna bring it in, I'm gonna breathe in and turn my foot. There, my elbows are in, so there's no doing this, okay? So that's the great one. Can I just make a point with this? Um, when we talk about the foot cover, I see some people, particularly inexperienced people, try and go the other way with this. I don't know why you would, but I just want to make it clear that when you pivot, your heel is coming through your centre line. So if this right leg is the leg that I'm kicking with, my heel is tracking my leg. So it follows it through. Don't try to pivot your foot the other way. I have seen it done. It rarely has good results. Okay. Hey, Lewis and hey, Kerry. Thanks for watching. So, as the going to be facing you, I want to do it so to get the idea of perspective of the boat. Are we doing it on the spot? So? Uh, we're going to do it so on the spot as much as you can. So bring it up and a step forward, just to make it a little bit easier. If you want to make it harder for yourself, bring it up and then drive it back. Okay? So I'm going to do it the lower basic way. Master Dre wants to do it the harder way she can. Okay, so I'm going to bring my knee up, pivot, bring it down. Let's get back now and do the other leg. Two. Down. Yeah. Three. Other leg, four, five, you know, really get that twist, you really got to push this quick with that leg, six, seven, eight, nine, I don't run, <laughs> and ten, go, cool. okay, so hopefully you give the idea of going for that, there, if you feel you need to do more, keep going through those, there, 
you get that pivot on your foot to improve your rail skills massively. Okay, you may get higher, you get more extensions, and feel more comfortable. Right, the next focusing exercise. Right, so uh, this is what we back. Uh, oh, Derek and James. Derek, can't help it. It's like taking an overexcited toddler out, just waving to everybody. It doesn't matter if he knows them or not, just waving at everybody. Okay, um, this is what we picked up when we were training over in America, Amcor. So everyone who did this before, I apologise. Uh, because you know exactly what's coming. Given the limited space that some of you probably have, I'm going to do this on the spot. I'm going to show you from the side though. Um, so one of the key things with roundhouse kicks is obviously picking your knee up, but the other is pulling your foot in tight to your butt. Um, just for example, Marisur's face. Okay. If I pick my knee up and my foot is here, that's the distance it travels to his face. If I pick it up and my foot is here, that travels a long way and therefore generates more momentum towards his face. It also um, gives me time to change my mind if I need to. If my foot is here and he moves out of range, I don't have to throw it. If I've got it to here, my weight's already going to propel me forwards. And then, as you know, there's consequences to falling in front. So we're going to start by grabbing your ankle and pulling your foot up to the side of you. Okay. I'm going to pull my foot, once I've got it up there, as far behind me as I can. And then I'm going to pivot round with the leg there. This is quite difficult, so those of you who are really struggling, start by picking it up to the side and pivoting round with it there. Those of you who are high enough level, you can start facing the other way. Put into butt, walk it round. Okay, put it down, then the other leg. Pick it up behind you, in tight, walk it, walk it, walk it, walk it, walk it. Okay, so we're going to start uh, with five on each leg. So I'm going to pick it up behind you, walk it round. There's one, other leg, pick it up behind you, walk it, walk it, walk it, walk it, walk it. Two, other foot, walk it, walk it, walk it, walk it, walk it. Three, and all we're doing, those of you who are struggling with the walking, is toe to heel. Little seven C's twist. So, left leg, pick it up. Try and get the knee nice and high. Ooh, that was just my terrible leg. Four, back to the right leg, pick it up. Start walking. Five, you can tell which side's my favourite. Left leg up. I know, this is a broken toe. Walk it round. Six, right foot up, walk it round. Seven, left leg up, walk it round. Eight, pick your right leg up, walk it round. Nine, pick your left leg up, walk it around. Ten. Okay, I've got the next one. No. So now we're going to go down onto the floor, some floor exercises. Uh, the beauty of floor exercises, you can think about technique because you haven't got to think about balance. Well, so. uh, welcome to the uh, video as well, Mr. Hughes and Mr. Collie as well. Okay, right, so ideally if you've got some a rug or a yoga mat to lie on, but you're not going to be down here for too long, and all we're going to do is practice extending our legs without having to worry about holding the position up. Okay, so uh, if you would like to be facing towards the camera, okay, so you lie down completely, arm to your side, there, or if you want to sit up a little bit, that's fine. Okay, so the leg, just as we've just done, the leg's going to come to the back. Here, as if we bring it to the floor this way. So look, the knee's pointing straight up. Now you haven't got to worry about balancing as you go in this position here, because you've got all the support that way there. Okay, and you should extend your leg up that way. Okay, get independent flexibility, so it can be higher or lower for you. Okay, but we're getting that idea of completely straighten the leg without having to worry about so much trying to hold the leg up and extend out like this. Okay, sometimes if you're a little bit of balance is off or anything like that, it's going to struggle. And then the foot's going to go backwards. And you put it down the floor. Okay, bring the knee up. Okay, there. Again, the knee is so there's the body here. The knee is this way here. Extend in and down. Okay, so I'll be facing the other way. So it looks like a 1980s aerobics plan. <laughs> so you start with any leg, you can do both legs 10 times. So comes up, knee up, point to the scene. So look, I bring the knee straight this way here. Okay, extend. Bring it in and down. What's one? Two. Up. 
extend, down, three, extend, down, four, up, extend, down. You notice I'm pointing my toes this way to help get maximum stretch. Bring it up, extend, five, in and down, up, extend, six, down, up, extend, down, seven, I think. Up. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Eight. That's what I need someone in here to help come down. Okay, up. Nine. Down. And last one. Up. Ten. Down. And then switch. Same thing. Put the top there. Relax to the side. Watch my knee come up. One. Extend. In and down. Two. In and down. Three. In and down. So as this leg's going out, I'm breathing out. Four, so I'm breathing out there. Don't hold your breath. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. And ten. Go. And up, we get. Yeah, can you get some of the shape out? Is there a drink if you need one? Right, so. Uh, Hello, uh, Laura. Hey, Chef's dad. My weird reading material on Facebook advert friend. <laughs> I don't know why, I don't know how. Um, low, middle, high. Um, again, this is one of those moments where leg retraction is critical, absolutely critical, um, because a lot of people throw it out there and there's no pulling it back which means you have zero options. Once that kick is gone, it's gone. You have no backup plan. Whereas if you are good at retracting, you can, you can bail before the kick, you bail out well after the kick, or you can kick again. So um, you can use a partner for this, you can use a wall for this, we'll show you both. The partner version, for those of you who have family members, my right hand goes to his right hand. Okay. The beauty of a partner is you have target areas on a person. And the saving grace with us is we, Kind of picked someone in our weight division really rather than um you know i mean obviously i love this stuff but yeah so notice even for the low kick i'm picking my knee up um for the simple fact that um to crumple with leg kicks you need downwards what you can't do is kick upwards for very obvious reasons for gentlemen so i'm going to turn the knee up it's going to go down back to my butt kick back kick but you will notice, sorry, my knee didn't deviate. My knee was, I wasn't <laughs> doing this. Trying to crank it. My knee got in and locked, and it was the foot and the lats that did the work. So one more time, I'm gonna go low, mid, high. And then I'm gonna put it back. So we're gonna do five. We switch legs and do five, um, and then it's our partner's turn. For those of you who don't have a partner, unlucky, you're going to do 10. But you can get yourself on any wall or a chair or anything you want to lean on. We get to pick the knee up, low, retract, foot to butt. Kick, retract, kick, retract. And all the time you're doing it, um, you can't quite do high yet, that's fine. Um, it's a bit like people who do hundreds of terrible press ups. The quality of the reps is the thing that counts. So if, no, sorry, if you can only do low, mid, mid, under control, that is better than you going low, mid, high. <laughs> okay, far better. You are better off doing quality and keeping your knee in position and maintaining the integrity of your core than you are cheating the reps. Okay, so go through these nice and quickly. One. Two. Three, four, five. And the beauty of this, you can use your partner as a counterbalance. Switch legs, left leg. And again, notice I'm bringing it from way back, so I'm getting full range of motion. One, low, middle, high. Two, low, back to butt. Ooh, high. <laughs> He's only flinching because this is my bad leg. Three. Four, five, 
Now the other part. If you're on your own, round two. Go, go, one. Two. Three. Four. No, I said you. Five. Switch legs. You'll notice I'm offering up my inside leg as a target for him as well. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. And shake it up. Get yourself a drink if you need to. Done that. Done it all. Hello, James. Hello, James. <laughs> So, I'm going to pass over to Mr. Bynes to cover uh, roundhouse kicking off the front leg. Um, so obviously, you have a front leg and a back leg at all times when you're fighting, hopefully, otherwise you're standing square and you're going to be uh, kicked over. But there's various different ways to do this. James, we're about to put the toilet roll on the kicking arm. Oh, we're... James, um, I don't know if he's still got the videos on his phone, um, but we were doing a little hook kick roundhouse combination for the toilet roll challenge with me. Um, and I shin kicked him in the head for like four times in 30 and seconds. And the groin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't explain how that came to be. Okay, right, so front of leg, front of kick. Okay? So, <clears throat> you know, I'm um, straight from that way there. So I'm going to be so resourceful, you can see this is my left leg there, just so you get perspective. Okay, there's lots of different ways you can throw this, okay? Now, what ideally you want to build up to from a karate point of view is being able to kick from the spot. So there has to be that weight transfer. If my weight is central here, as you can see, it's difficult to put my leg up without my weight going forwards. Because the minute that goes up, there's no base there, so I have to go that way. So I have to go back to it. It's a very light back stance. I don't want to go to full mad back stance here and try and kick like that. I'm too compressed. So I've got to be up straight and I'm transferring this way here. Now look at this foot. Okay, it's already turned halfway there. Okay, anticipation of the kick. If you want to go from sort of a more cybers on uh, kickboxing stance. You can, but then you have to do a further pivot, obviously bear that in mind. So from the front leg, from the point of view of just throwing a roundhouse kick, okay, foot's planted here, okay, because you're going to drill it. Again, sparring is going to be that little different emphasis. I pick my knee up. Now look at the weight transfer. So if you watch my head here, I go back. So my weight goes just like this. Just look at the back stand, shoulder, hip, knee, toe into that position there. Okay, and I'm going to drive my knee up. And the higher my knee gets, the further the foot turns. I'm getting that up from there. Okay, and then we we'll extend. So again, all I have to do is think about my leg just doing this, that straightforward extension. The turning of the foot and the pivot is going to help it kind of turn into a round us. So it goes that way. So I'm not just kicking straight up, kicking across. So again, bring it up, up and back. Okay, again, keep my arms controlled, head to the chin slightly up, breathing. There. Okay, so it's a pivot and back. The quicker that goes, the faster the kick can go. Okay. If you struggle with that, get your feet closer. <clears throat> okay? Now, I've got to, obviously, you don't want to be ever kicking like this this close here in terms of sparring and that, because it leaves you very easy to get kicked over or pushed over or control you. Okay? But with being here, I've got more hip mobility. So as I pick my leg up, automatically, my foot's going to turn that a little bit more. So ideally, you want to be, okay, if you look at this, this is about from there to here is about 80 centimeters for me. If you're taller, it should be longer. If you're shorter, it should be shorter. Excuse me one second, so I'm just going to get some pads to set up for the next. Okay, so I want to go into the little thing. So I'm going to bring it up and turn that way. There. Okay, if you need to, get your feet closer to the river. What you need to do is try and do it without stepping the whole time. Okay, try and do it from the spot. So front leg, turn on one leg and then we'll switch to turn the other leg. So knee up, pivot, kick. Ready? One, two. Then keep the arms in three. Breathe out as you kick. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch legs, other leg forwards. Again, just jumping because we're just doing this drill. So, again, same thing, turn that foot, pick the knee up, kick around. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and relax. Okay, there we go. That's front leg kicking. So as you get more confident with it, get that a little bit wider. Okay, and just try and drive and get that that little pop in your back foot. It's gonna make it flick up from the front really quick. Yeah. So um, we're just gonna take a look at a quick pad drill. If you don't have pads, uh, you can use gloves. You can use 
uh, sofa cushions. So while I'm talking, uh, you might want to just uh, set yourselves up, and then we'll have a look at the pendulum kicking, which is the step up. So you can also, um, let's be very careful with this, you can use your partner's empty hand. Because bear in mind, this is not power kicking that we're talking about yet. Uh, we're talking about uh, technique and pivot and retraction, good retraction. So, the stuff that's useful for the line work and your gradings and stuff like that, yes. so you're not actually kicking anything. Yeah. And just for that, hello, Joe, hello, Yvonne. And uh, hello, Mr. Farley. Thank you for joining us from wherever you are. Dubai. Dubai. There you yeah. go. <laughs> International lady of many. Also, I'm not going. <laughs> um, so we've both put the pad on our right hand. And we've both put our right leg forward. Uh, we used to do this drill quite a lot. Um, but getting people to coordinate this uh, is difficult at first. Because partnership is like playing tennis. If one of you is a pro and one of you is the five-year-old who's picked up the racket for the first time, um, you have to match the level, otherwise you are pretty much just hitting the ball for yourself. So you have to be willing to cooperate with the partner, you have to be willing to match pace. Um, and we do this all the time together. So the, the beauty of this is you have to hold your arms under control, you have to stay tight. Okay. And we're both going to be in kicking range. So obviously if you have a partner who's a giant, um, this gets a little bit more technical, you start bringing the pad across you. Okay. But I'm, I'm going to apply the exact same principle Mr. Banks just talked about. So up, kick, okay. the ups. Hip, high up, hip, hip. So we start with that, and then uh, we're just going to do 10 together to show you. If you want to do 10 with us, get your pads in position. So this is 10 each, so it'll be 20 total. You will hear me count to 20. Ready? Hip, 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 hip. Mr. Banshee Boy's got to be ready for at least two more. So we put Hand on the left hand, the left leg goes in front. So we notice we're facing in opposite directions all the time. And we are being good partners. What I'm not doing is going and then having a big delay while I get this back here. I'm keeping it tight. So again, I'm going to do 20 on the left leg. Ready? So that's uh, the front leg drill. Now, pendulum kicking. And again, we'll show you this with the partner in a second. Uh, pendulum is the stepping up. I won't cover my magical slide today because that really applies more to sidekick. Uh, I'll do it this way. So, pendulum, well, you have to bear in mind every way in, you have to have a way out. Otherwise, what's going to happen, you're going to go in, you're going to kick, you're going to land in the danger zone. So, slowly, I go up, knee up, kick, back, down. Together, kick, together, down. You will not do it that pronounced uh, when you spar. The simple reason that they're gonna see you do that and you're gonna get sweat. So, skip, skip, skip. Okay, so we're gonna have a go uh, 10 on each leg. Then we're gonna have a go at uh, five on each leg with a partner. Um, hopefully you've all found a partner by now. If not, um, see your mob for a second. If you've got a bag, So you've got that as an option as well at all times. Um, or if your children have really irritated you today, just stand them there and tell them don't move for money. So, direction or sideways or forwards, sir? Other Right, so we're going to start with our right leg. So, we're going to back foot, the left foot moves first. We're going to do five slowly and then five fast. So, ready? Left foot steps up, one leg kicks, put it back and step back. Two, step up, kick, down, back. Three, up, kick, down, back. Four, up, kick, down, back. Five, up, kick, down, back. Now, five nice and fast. So you've got to get the feeling of a little bit of rebound here. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Change sides. Nice and slow. So right leg steps up. Step up, kick, down, one. Up, kick, down, two. Up, kick, down, three. Up, kick, down, four. Up, kick, down, five. Now with a bit of skip, a bit of rebound. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Right. The partner version. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me. I really don't have COVID. Hello, Stokes. Just go see my little people. 
Nice. Mr. Banks likes to say hello. <laughs> I think he's lowering me because I'm not that talkative at home. <laughs> so, pat on the right hand. Now, with this and a partner, you have to, again, be cooperative, one, and aware, two. Because obviously, if he's standing there switched off, and I do the skip up here, I just probably pat that, sir. But think about something else, think about cheese. <laughs> so, if I'm just picking up and kicking, range is not an issue. If I step up and kick, Rain just suddenly become an issue because I'm about this much closer and it will hit you in the face. So, what will happen is a circle towards me as he steps up and I skip back. Now, watch as he skips out, I skip up. So, I skip out and he skips in. So, now what should happen? Oh, don't worry about switching off. If you pendulum at the same time, you will never hit each other. But again, you have to find the rhythm. With your partner. So uh, we're going to do five each on both sides. Um, if this is the first time you're doing this, take it nice and steady. Um, you can do a few more if you like while we're talking, but I'll just help up nice and slowly to this. Don't just assume that this is going to go at a billion miles an hour straight away because it's not. So are you going first? I'll go first. Okay, go. Slide. You notice Mr. Banks did what we would call the slide there. The slide is classic point sliding tradition. It's also um, the version you do when you're aware you need to be closer, but pendulum has gone. Sometimes you'll go to pendulum and all that happens is your foot will go forward, your front foot will lead. Particularly common with boxers because they know they have to close the range, so they'll go wait forward briefly. Um, so make sure it's always your back foot driving. You go first. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. So that's the draw of the partner. Um, again, start slow, build it up. The last place you want to be right now is uh, accident and emergency. Right. Okay, right, jump round our then. Yes. Uh, okay, so there was. Sort of two really main ways you can throw a jump round up ski. You have the skip up method this way, okay, or the pop up. You go from there and kick into the front, okay. So both of you will be kicking from the front. This I've, way. Got, I've got two more. Okay, oh, there you go. So I'll show two and then Mark show you. So skip up again, that same principle. I want to skip forwards, my foot already turned out. So I always think about it as I'm passing a football, okay. So the foot's already there. And again, I want a slight bend of this knee here. I want to be complete, like I'm doing this way. I don't want that. I want to jump, and then I'll be doing like this. So I'm relaxed, and I skip through this way here. Okay, and up there. Again, I'm not over committing too much yet. Getting that idea. So my foot's already there. Now. If that's already pivoted, as I throw the kick, I'll do it towards you. And I hope you're banging my head. Okay. Automatically, it comes around. Your foot's turned that way. That means my hip has to turn out that way. Okay, and so if that's happening, I'm going to get that kick round. Okay, so pass it forwards and look, my foot goes in front of my other foot. No point going here because momentum was going to stop there and I have to get, change really quickly. The higher I bring that up, there. Okay, and then as you get more confident, bring your foot higher and bring it to there. So I'm going to do the sideways so I don't bang my head. Okay, if you want to also do the sideways, please then. Okay, so left leg in front, body up. Don't have clear. I don't, I'm not going to be able to jump where we've been. Compressed down, I've got to be up straight as I can. Okay, I'm going to look up, it's easy for me to jump. So I'm going to go there, my hips go forward, I'm going to go that way. I'm going to look down, hips go down, I'm going to jump that way. Okay, so I'm going to try and jump up as much as I can. So I'm going to go, hide one leg, switch the other. So left leg forward, go. One, two, three, four, and five. Switch legs, right leg in front, left leg in front, bring it up. Look it round. One, two, three, four, and that's all five. Right. right, now the pop up one. So, I'm going to keep the right leg in front for this one. So, I'm going to jump straight up to get this. Okay, my hands are going to help bring my momentum up as well. Well, I don't need rigid, but I've not really have any momentum there. So, my arms are going to be loose, so I can flick as I throw the kick. Okay, so I go jump and kick to there. Okay, 
So, looking up, and we jump straight up and down the spot. Okay, this is quite good for pad work because you, you, most of the time when people are holding pads to jump around, they're still static. You have to do the skip forward, you have to get the distance right every time. If you're here, if you touch the pad, you can kick it, basically. Okay, so jumping up and then flick the leg out. Now, if you want to go really high with the kick, you pull your knees high. Just like with any kick, the higher my knee goes, the higher the kick will go. If I want to go sort of about this height, I can just kick straight from there. If I want to go higher, I've got to pull my knee up higher. So watch, if I just do a normal jump, just about here, I'm going to pull my knee up, yeah, kick it up high, kick it up there. Okay, so we're going to do the same. It's like, you're going to do higher one, don't over those ones. You want over it with the second one. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do right leg first this time, five, and we'll switch, left leg five. So from the front, knees up, kick out. Ready, one, two, three, four, and five. Switch legs. Straight away. Go. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go. Okay. Right, um, my only add ons, because um, obviously we um, we have our own distinct styles. Um, we're actually, you look at us on paper, very different fighters. So um, mine are off the back leg. Uh, I think more relevant if you're a power kicker. Uh, so, if you were going to throw it for stuff like uh, K1 MMA, probably more relevant. The pop up one is the one I don't really favour. I'm not a very explosive person, so it doesn't suit me, whereas he's always been very explosive. So, looking at it from a back leg perspective, <coughs> kaboom. So, back leg perspective, when I'm throwing my right leg, but it's my back leg, because you will notice Mr. Banks' technique was, in essence, a front leg technique. I'm going to go off the back leg. So I call this over the fence. I'm going to use this line in the middle to illustrate my point. Um, I'm going to pick, imagine that I'm opening this front hip up. So to bring this back leg round, I need this to happen. I'm not going to be able to, um, I watch lots of people try and throw back leg kicks from kind of here, and you've just you've made it so hard because it's a full 180. So this might be more relevant, particularly if you've got tie checks or something in your repertoire. I'm going to open this leg up and I'm going to go over the fence. Over, kick. So I'm bringing it up, over the little fence, kick. Okay, um, these are just little extra additions. The pop-up one, if it's your back leg, again, knees up, turn tight. But I'm going to think about throwing that front leg, for, that back leg through, sorry. We have to check because the beams are really low. Here. So I'm going to bend and throw. Bend, knee forward, throw it round. Okay. So it's just some food for thought. What have we doing for time, sir? Uh, we've got about 15 minutes left. 15. Woo! We better speed on. So um, moving on to 360. Uh, 360. Again, a lot of people. Um, you need to cheat the thing. I see a lot of people make it really hard for themselves. Because, okay, I'll use the, hopefully you see the cross on the floor, I don't know how good the camera quality is there. First of all, they'll come up to it and they will stand like this. So from where I am now, the 360 is all the way around. I am facing the way I'm going to face. So I have to go all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way around. Um, what I need to do is start cutting it short early. So I'm going to take this position. So now I'm really I'm 180 away from where I need to ultimately be. I am going to drag my back foot round. So from here, I'm going to turn. Okay. The more of me I can get round in one go, the easier this will be. If you imagine me on a clock right now, right now my I'm looking at 12. My butt, belly button is actually facing three. So my belly button is from where it will eventually be. When I finish the kick, I'm three quarters of the way around already. The drag is going to take me as far as it possibly can. Ideally, this drag is going to take me around to at least the nine. Okay. At least. In an ideal world, because obviously this is, because it's constant momentum, this is an ever changing situation. So what you can't have is one, two, 
it, it will change constantly. It's just the timing of when the circle you pick it up that's relevant. So I'm going to drag, 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 drag. When I get to 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, this knee's going to come up and I, it's going to be pointing towards the 12. Don't pick your knee up pointing at 7 because now you have to drag yourself that far through the air. If I drag and pick it up at 11, I only have to drag myself through this much circle. And I'm opening my hip up. So again, it means that my pivot is strong on the end. So this is really difficult to do in slow motion because I'm fighting gravity. But I drag round. Okay. Um, it's the same principle as that one, two of a jump front kick. So uh, I'm gonna do three slow for you. I hope you do them with me. And then we'll do three fast. So Mr. Banks, if you stand next to me, hopefully we don't kill each other on this whatever. So again, we're both sideways. We're going to turn. My left leg is in front. I've started with my bad leg for some reason, but we're going to turn backwards. So turn away from the way you're going and drag your back foot in. When I get round, I'm going to keep turning my hips. 10 o'clock. I open, 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 over the fence, kick. There's one. So I'm back in position. Belly button at three, looking to 12. Turn your head, turn your body, flip it round. Leg up at 10. Hop over the fence. There's two. Belly button at three. Drag and turn. Pick up at ten. Up and over. So now you're going to do it full speed. Um, again, if you're new, your full speed will not be the same as my full speed. So Mr. Banks and I are going to do three, hopefully without damage to property. Go. One. Two. And three. Change legs. Right leg forward. This time, you still have your clock, belly button's at nine. I'm going to turn towards six, drag the back foot, pick the foot up at two, hop, kick to 12. There's one, drag the back foot in, pick it up at two, hop and kick three. Last one, turn, knee up at two, kick three. So now, but and remember, timing is everything. When you pick it up, is everything. Go one. Two and three and shake it off. Right. Mr. Banks is uh, going to you for abs then. Go on. right. Uh, let me just try something because I'm getting a bit washed out with the sun. The horse is really got all nice and sunny. My magical uh, coat. Ooh, that's a bit better. Really. Before, we would not anticipate England being sunny. That's rubbish. Oh, well, we'll have to do it. Whatever. No, I don't have any more solutions. Yeah, means a piece of code. Okay, right, so, out. Okay, so we're going to do some planks, we're going to do some side planks, but we're going to get on. Need to drive the knees up. Okay. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Warren. How are you guys doing? So, elbow down, plank first of all. So, this simple one to start with. So, I'm going to bring my knees up to the side. So, imagine I'm on the floor here. I'm going to bring my knee up. Now, look to help my back and turn towards it. Okay. So, I'm compressing to it. I don't want to be here, sort of looking away and trying to lift that leg up. I don't want to do it. So, I'm going to look towards it. Um, those of you who struggle with the elbows down plank on this, because I always feel like I don't have room. You can also do this straight armed. But what I would say, straight armed does not mean you can allow your body to sag and let your abs be compromised. Yes. So um, I will do the straight armed version for you, and Mr. Bank will show you the bent arm version. Okay. Um, I'll be up so, to We're going to do one minute. If you get tired, what we need to do is drop the floor, count to 10 nice and quickly, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, and get back up and do it again. There's no point doing 10, 15 seconds of stopping for the whole minute. You're better off doing little intervals of it than you are just doing it once and stopping after a few seconds. Okay? So I will be here facing towards you. you see me, and my strain will be there. Okay? So in the position, make sure I'm watching set. Okay, remember, keep that there. Foot slightly up. Till you hit 40, gonna make it that a little bit harder. Remember to breathe. Three, two, one, start on your left. Up, back. Two. Keep it going.
15 seconds gone. Can you get it? That's not covered in anyway. Yes. <laughs> His time's going down. Halfway. Keep going. Remember, if you need to rest, rest for 10 seconds as quick as you can. And then show back up. 15 seconds left. Last 10. Last three. And time. Oh, right. So that's the new side plank. Okay, so depending on how comfortable we are with side plank, the right arm's here, right foot's on the side, lift it up, left foot's on top. Okay, I'm going to take my arm off and I'm bring my knee up and back. If you find that too difficult, just hold this position. If you find this too difficult, put your hand down to support it this way here. And then if you need to, for extra balance or for like to help yourself, put your top foot slightly in front. So you've got one, two, three, four supports, rather than just one and two. Okay? You do 30 seconds on one leg and switch straight over. Okay? If you need to drop down, drop down. If you're going to make it a little bit harder, I'll do it sideways. So you don't disengage your core at all. Hand goes inside, look, go straight over. And then you're ready to go straight off. Okay? So we're going to do 30 seconds, 5 seconds to turn to the side, and then another 30 seconds. Right, ready? In position, you start any side because you work both sides anyway. Ready. Three. Again, harder one is to bring your knee straight up because you're going to do a kick. Three, two, one, go. Knee up. Ten seconds gone already. Again, try and push this side towards the ceiling as much as you can to keep your obliques locked in. See, only ten seconds left already. Here we go. Last five. Ready to change? Three, two, one. Change. Five seconds from this position. Three, two, one. Go. Sorry that you're looking at my butt. I thought it's about my turn. <laughs> but nobody needs to see my back. Ten Ooh. seconds gone. Halfway. There's your last five. Three, two, one, and relax. For those of you who heard that, that was my ankle. Yeah. Right then. Okay. Now just for just for us good. Uh, you, you need to elbows. Okay, so you learn to drive your knee up, twisting your body into it. So we're gonna do if you're lower level, if you're already struggling with your abs, you're already feeling them, you do 20. Okay, that's each individual side. If you're intermediate, you do 40, and if you're good, you're gonna do 60. Just be fair. 60 is one, two, yes. three. Yes, <laughs> that'll be one, two, three, four. Again, if you're struggling with this, put your feet down. Again, I want the angle of this, so my core's already engaged when we start. There, look, it's relaxing, the focus up. Here, it's engaged. Looking forwards, I'm not gonna sit there because I'm blinded. Okay, so looking forwards, and I'm gonna need to elbow that way. I'll relax my wrist so I can push it into the side of there, okay? You pull these out fairly quickly, okay? So I'm driving my knees up and get my elbow across. So either beginners 20, intermediate 40, advanced 60. Okay, get yourself a breath in position. I'll leave it down to you, count, because I can't see it. Three, three, two, one, go. That's 20 for me. That's 40 for me. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. 
Sixty. Cool. <laughs> okay. So there'll be abs work for you there, hopefully for you that a little bit. And right, stretching to finish off then. Or oh, we'll enjoy a weekend, hopefully with a bit of sunshine. Yeah. Or oh, Saturday, Saturday. No, Saturday. Saturday showdown. Can I kick your butt? Yeah, you will. Have you been studying the PowerPoint? <laughs> of course you haven't. I'll be down tomorrow like I always do. Winging it. <laughs> oh, crap. Okay, so. Oh, uh, bench pointed. Who? Need on the two middle windows. All right. Well, you see, it looks like you can see me. <laughs> Ken's up, the internet's rubbish, and that's mine for a change. Woo, that's good. This is not us. Yeah, so, uh, we'll start with just some basic stretching to get yourself into it, and then we'll move on to some partner stretching. And Hello, Mr. Hackett. Hello, Mr. Hackett. Hello, all the Hackett children. Hello, Caroline Hackett, who probably likes Jen right now. <laughs> she has to put it with loads of people kicking in her head. Luckily, she's doing lots of lovely art, so. So we'll keep an eye out for Mrs. Hackett's art. It's all rather lovely. So, before, come up. Yes. Great big six fish. Great big six fish. Oh, well, that was better. Do as you talk. So, horse riding stance. Push knees out. Turn the toes out. Lean rock. Okay. Now, here we go. Down left. Heels flat. Okay. Remember, this knee needs to push out as much as you can. You want to posture up. Open your hips out. You can change sides. Open the hips up. Okay, change sides again. Toes up to the ceiling. And remember, you put this hand behind. Sink into it all the time. This knee stays pushing out. Change sides. Down. Sometimes I like to grab my own ankle here and use it to lever my knee out. Occasionally you'll hear bones flip on me as well. That's entirely normal. Okay, drop to the other side again. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn onto the ball of this foot and I'm going to push, concentrate straight back leg and this hip, this back hip, I'm going to push it down. It's not so much that I'm trying to get my knee to the floor, I'm trying to get my hip down. And drop down to the other side. Turn onto the ball of the foot, straight leg and hip down. All hip into it. Okay, we're just going to do a little uh, yoga movement that I like. So, uh, I'm not going to go into this formally. Okay, now crouch down, hands forward, and then push your butt back. Down with dock. <laughs> I know the names, even if I don't know yoga. So, what I'm going to do, my right leg, I'm going to start with. I'm going to push it up, and I'm going to crunch in towards my hands. Notice I push myself forward with my toes. Back, kick it straight up again. Okay. Forwards, I'm going to kick it up and I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to try to reach and touch the floor behind me. I'm going to step it forwards to the outside of my hand, push up. Step this leg back, push your butt back. Feel that stretch into your calves. Here you can give, just turn sideways. If you need a little wiggle, if you want to, just ease your legs into the idea. So now left leg. Pick it up, rock forwards, straight back up again, rock it forwards, and now up, turn it up, so you're opening the hip up, back down, push back, knees down, push back to open your lower back. Now, we're going to do some hip opening up here. So we're going to start with the dead frog. <laughs> Not a yoga term, I've just made it up. So I'm going to put my elbows down and I'm going to push my knees outwards. So the feeling I'm getting here is I'm opening my hips up, dropping down the floor. Sometimes I'll do a little rock here, bear in mind, very gently, okay? Not because <laughs> you you're forcing your hips into positions they're not supposed to go. Sometimes I'll just lean side to side so I get one hip and the other hip. Hello, Jennifer. Try some combos. Woohoo! Hello, HB. Another lady also running fitness classes online, by the way. We've all gone online. 
We've all gone rogue. Life will never be the same, all these mad women online. So I'm going to straighten one leg out and send this knee, and I'm going to push out. This is a pretty good um, four run of the box fit. However, I am going to show you one detail that I consider to be quite important, and jiu-jitsu people will get me. When I'm sitting like this, notice that I'm on the top of my foot, and all the time my hands are on the floor. Don't do this. It is terrible for your knees. Okay? So be gentle with yourself at all times. Okay, other side, push it out. I'm on the top of my foot. And I'm just sitting into it. Okay. All the time. Just relaxing in. I'm gonna push up. Okay, both feet out. And your elbows on the floor. When you're ready, you bring your hands in, toes up, push out. Oh, I'm so close. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm going to cry, but I'm happy. Gently come out of the stretch. However you want to come out is fine. If you're not that close to the floor, it pays to walk your feet in and stand there rather than slam into the floor. Right. Uh, we're just going to do a little bit of partner stretching um, and belt stretching for specifically circular, what I would call... Let's call them side kicks, so things that require you to open your hips up. So, I'm going to borrow Mr. Banks. If you can get up. <laughs> oh, oh, old. That's a noise we like to call approaching 40. <laughs> Although, Jen Harrison Blake is probably judging you right now. And I don't know that. Now, um, if you're not that flexible, Mr. Banks is going to make a horse riding stance, so he's on the lower platform. But also, if you're a good partner, hold their hand. Okay, not like they're made of poop, because then you're actually providing support. When I pick my foot up for sideways kicks, the important thing is that no matter what happens, you see how my foot goes across the back of his neck. Okay, and he's going to slowly stand up. Okay, I am making sure at all times I'm not cheating. Cheat here, um, you'll notice on some sides of my hip pushes back a little bit, I'm going to push in. I'm going to posture up, I'm going to open up from my hips. The biggest cheat people do is this. That's not my hips anymore, that's my hamstring. Okay. This is to open my hips up. Okay. When you come out of it, he lowers himself slowly. I retract properly and down. Same principle as weightlifting. Mr. Banks gave me a proper telling off the other day yeah. for um, picking up a kettlebell like this. Those of you who weight train are flinching because you're right, but I did not enjoy my telling off. So on the side, he squats down. My foot goes across the back of his neck. I get my pivoting foot in place and he slowly stands up. And all the time I'm keeping my toes that way. Don't cheat. Turn yourself over. Woohoo! See, good partner. High five for you. <laughs> he lowers down. I retract properly. And that. We switch over. Then we might grab. I squat. And you know, again, notice the proper pickup as well. I go up. He's super bad, Mr. Button. I know he's pushing this hip forwards. I lower it down. He retracts. And then that was kind of my fault. I can't explain why I grabbed the back of your leg there. It goes across the back of my neck. And notice I stand up slowly. Okay, I stand up slowly. I don't just ram upwards and hope that their hips take it. Okay. If you're going to loop over their leg, like I'm doing, excuse me. Hasn't shaved his legs. Terrible woman. Make sure that you're rest, just resting it on them, that you're not going on their knee. Bad idea. Just gently cut their leg, tell them it's going to be okay. Then I'm going to go down, let him retract, put it back down. Okay. Would you like to do the pulling one, sir, or are we running out of time? Let me go Okay, so we have a selection. <laughs> One's on the floor, isn't it? Yes. Okay. So uh, I have little resistance bands. I'm always a bit wary of resistance bands personally because um, my experience is unbreakable really doesn't mean unbreakable. It doesn't mean anything. It means everything has a breaking point. You'll just you'll find it eventually. But uh, Mr. Banks is going to do the pulley version. So mine involves me being on the floor. Okay. We did this exercise earlier. I personally like to put my foot 
in the resistance band. So it's encouraging me to keep control of my feet. I'm going to pull in, okay, and then I'm going to extend upwards. Now, I should be flat, ideally, but the beauty of a resistance band is you always have that little bit of flex in it. Okay, don't get to the point where you're, because if it snaps, you're going to peg. Okay, and you can just rock in position, bring it back in, push it down. Okay, a little bit of push on the end. In, up, stretch it over. You can also do this, and hopefully I'll find one in a second, with your karate belt. So while Mr. Banks demonstrates the pulling one to you, oh, thank you. Okay, so again, I'll use the hand wrap. It, you can use the belt, it's exactly the same principle. Okay, it's just a little bit thinner. So, exactly the same thing. I pull in, I extend up, and if I need to, I can pull over there. So, I can pull it in and get more this way here. Okay? Try and keep my toes normally. I don't want to twist it, sort of like this, and pull it across that way there. That's working against my knee. I work it all together, pull it in. If I want to go here, I can put it around the back of my head. And I can use my head to put it that a little bit further if you find you're struggling with your abs. As long as it doesn't hurt yourself and cut going back your head off. Okay? And then bring it in, extend out the second to say. If you were to do this with side kick, then you'd go for this way and you go up and you can pull in across that way there. Obviously, different emphasis of pulling the side of my foot rather than the top there. Okay? Uh, one last one. Um, we have kind of blessed to have beams in here. Uh, there's actually one of these going around on Facebook. Now, I've never actually tested this before, so I'm going to test this live for you now. Okay. I'm going to put my foot in it. I'm going to use the pulley. Ooh, that's nice. To pull my foot up. Now, actually, the beauty of this that I hadn't really considered the Facebook thing, because the Facebook thing goes over a door, which I'm always wary of because of the number of chin-up bars you see pull off doors. But the beauty with this is this is pulling me up towards my leg, it's not allowing me to hang. Although if I do hang, oh, that's an awesome stretch. So if you have got a beam and you're really flexible, try this. I wouldn't uh, be doing something like this if you're not flexible or you have doubts about your balance. Um, because every time I see it on Facebook, I think, ah, that's a lovely stretch, but that could go really, really wrong. Um, but I've just shown you there now, it's uh, nice that you are counterbalancing your own leg and you have control over how high or low it goes. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed uh, the roundhouse kicking exercise for today. Um, remember, um, it's a bit like having a gym membership, this. It only works if you go to the gym and do the things. So try and incorporate part of your routine, um, all the bits that we're giving you. Try and make your own routines as to how you're going to get better at this. Because um, otherwise, if you, if you don't do it, or you do it once in this little incarceration period, it, it won't work for you. And you'll just you'll end up in the same situation in, in three months' time. Okay, uh, right. So thank you very much for watching. For you guys that have been coming along and watch. Uh, for those of you who are watching this on replay, uh, thank you as well. Don't forget, please share the videos that we're putting up. Uh, it all, all helps us all out and obviously gets us more like, notice and stuff like that. So it makes it worthwhile if people are watching. We want to keep doing them. Uh, don't forget about the YouTube channel. Like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Put the click the bell icon so as soon as the video goes up. I'm going to upload this onto the YouTube one. The reason I'm doing it on the YouTube one this time compared to the other ones is using my 4K action cam, so it will actually look decent on there. Um, also, we've got the, uh, the showdown on Saturday. Oh, yes. Uh, well, and then next week. Mr. Banks loops. Yeah, I will. <laughs> I have no doubt. Um, so, um, next week, I will work some uh, foundation stuff on the Alive Clashes. So, uh, foundation, fundamental stuff for the karate. Okay, so we're going to go right back to basics. We're going to cover a lot of basics. Okay, there will always be, there, again, there will be another form that will be gone through next week as well in detail, so it gives you a chance to practice that at home. Uh, and I'm going to do the kicking sessions next week. Uh, I'm going to do a like, full-on hardcore session. Okay, so I want to get you to work quite hard. I'm going to throw a lot of fitness in there, so that's going to be working there as well. Uh, what I'd also like to offer out there is um, uh, analysing your forms at home. Okay. So for those of you who've seen the Chinto video I've done, and you see where I've all got all the lines and the angles and all that sort of business going on, so I can go really into detail and go backwards and forwards a little bit, okay? Message me if you're interested in doing that. Uh, all you have to do is you record, get someone to record it, or what we've got, we've got, we've got something on stand recording right now, uh, and record yourself doing the form, send it to me, uh, and then I'll analyze it and send it back to you, okay? But uh, message me beforehand and uh, we'll go through that.
Okay, so we've got quite a lot going on next week. Uh, don't forget to stay tuned. Again, please like and subscribe to this video. Uh, it helps sort of get everyone noticing it because I think what's happening a little bit is people aren't quite realizing stuff. I mean, I'm trying to share it everywhere, but people aren't really noticing it so much. So if you can get it shared, that'd be fantastic. It only takes 10 seconds. Anything else? No. Happy weekend, people. I'll see you for the showdown tomorrow. You're going to watch it go down. Okay, have a good one. <laughs> Guys, see you soon. Thanks, Sue. Yeah, what you're watching right now is Laura's struggle to find buttons, but we will see you all over the weekend.